Hey everybody, I'm H Trainer Liam and welcome to episode 25 of my Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer Rocket Lock. Oh, yesterday was tough. We lost Pidgeotto and Mega Man, two of my favourites of the team. But it's okay, we've got Gash God, we've got Caesar, we've got Zero, we've got Booby, and I've added Zelda and Flutters to the team because we need a flying type. A psychic type gives us a little bit of extra coverage, and Zelda as the ground type. Just, I feel like Zelda will be quite handy when she eventually evolves into a dragon, hopefully. So, with, um, I've, I've messed around with some TMs, so I've given Needle Arm and Fly to Flutters. And Zelda now knows Karate Chop. <laughs> um, I've given Karate Chop to Booby as well. And I think that's all I did today. Oh, and I gave extra sensory to Gash Gob, because she can take on poison types. Now, we've got a double battle, so let's see how we do. Oh, maybe not. Hi, I'm the Nugget Man. And I'm the Nugget Boy. Glad you showed up, I want to give you this. Oh, thank you. Oh. I want to give you this too. A big nugget, thank you. That's a nugget. How did it get so golden without deep frying? Trade secret. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. Oh. Okay. Well, that's handy that we don't have to battle. We'll have to battle this guy, though. What's up uh, this way? Can I move this crystal? Oh, there are three crystals, but there's nothing under them. Well, let's explore, for the sake of exploring. Ooh! I got a steel gem. Thank you, gem people. Okay, let's face this trainer down here. I found a relic gold. What does relic gold do? Relic gold... There it is. We've got we've had relic gold already. A maniac will buy it for a high price. Well, I like the sound of that. Hey, bub. There was a whisper in the wind that told me of your coming. There, there really wasn't, was there? Let's face it. You're lying to me, good sir. Rich boy Noel. Ooh, you have a ghastly. Oh, you see, this works in our favour already. Because we can just use extra sensory on you. Oh, you got that sucker punch in though, you cheeky devil. You're not gonna like extra sensory. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, gob, I love you. Embor. Now she's not gonna like Embor, but I kinda know who is. Oh, I don't know though. Let's send in Booby just to be safe. Because ground isn't weak to fighting. And electric isn't weak to fighting. And ground is resistant to fire, so we've got a bit of a chance there. I feel like if we use mud bomb, we'll have a good chance. Oh, there's that takedown there. That could be horrific. Oh no! Nice! And mud bomb's gonna be super effective. Beautiful. And it's gonna lower your accuracy, which is very helpful. Oh, it's because we've got that life orb going on. Yeah, I've given the life orb to Booby. And it's paying off. Just gotta be careful. Ooh, okay. Well, we gotta level up, so it's fine. Don't panic. And I think we won the battle. And Zero is level 25. Awesome. I wish I had more EXP shares. Oh, I must have got! I found some Chester Berries, so... Oh, thanks. Well, I'm gonna heal up. Yep, 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 yep. Wind whistles in caves and entrances exit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That is cool. Oh, I'm so glad Zero evolved. What level does Zelda evolve at? Let's let's check that out. Um, trap Inch into Vibrava. Trap Inch. Ah, oh, level 35. We've got a ways to go, Zelda. What level does Flutters evolve? Now I'm just now I'm just mucking about. Really. Woo bat. Friendship! Oh no, she's never gonna evolve. Damn it, Flutters. I should really put Flutters at the front of the party, but there are so many Pokemon that are stronger than her. I should put Zelda at the front of the party, but again, there are so many Pokemon that are stronger than her in this area. 
I, I kind of don't want to risk it, but I think we're going to have to. Breeder Wayne has a Sveal. Sveal's going to know Ice-type moves, which I will not like you using against my Victory Bell. So, just want to check. Always consult your Pokedex. Enough trainers don't consult their Pokedex, and then they try telling me that Spiritomb's are legendary and stuff like that. Instead of looking silly, check your Pokedex. Yeah, Stunfisk is weak to water and ice, so Booby would not actually be a good choice in this instance. Everybody's weak to water on this freaking team, except for Flutters, but Flutters is too low a level. So I'm going to go with Caesar, because he's going to resist the water and the ice type moves, at least. And we'll see what we can do to this Sveal. Okay, so we've got the Hail, so we're going to take Hail damage every turn, that's great. It's just what we need. And I think we're going to do better with Strength than bite. It's not going to be resisted, but that body slam is going to be horrific. Oh no, oh, we got the paralysis though as well. And you're being healed because of the freaking ice body ability. Oh man. Okay. Oh, nice crit though. We should heal on this turn, but I'm going to go with strength. You're going to use body slam and it's not going to crit. Thank you. <laughs> Very lucky of you, Liam. We didn't hit with the strength, though, did we? Okay, I'm going to go with Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk would be very... No, I'll go with Lemonade. Don't waste Moo Moo's. Uh, HP Restore. Lemonade. On Caesar. Oh, Caesar was paralyzed. That's why strength didn't hit. Okay, we've got the Body Slam. That's fine. The Hail has stopped. Beautiful. Let's go for strength. You might waste one of your turns on hail, which is quite handy. Come on. Cure your paralysis. You can do this, Caesar. Oh, it's so tempting to go for another strength, but while we've got the chance, I am not going to risk Caesar going down. Oh, you... Oh, okay. At least we got a healing turn in, free of charge. We could go in with Bite, I suppose, but they're faster than you. Oh yeah, so Bite's not going to do a lot. Damn the Paralysis. Let's go with Strength again. Okay, I need to cure that Paralysis, because it is literally causing so much aggro. Thank you for the Paralysis. Oh, there goes the Hail. Okay, but that's fine. We're going to get Buffeted. That's fine. Now we're going to go with Strength. Okay, you've got the body slam, as long as it doesn't... Oh, we got the bloody paralysis back on the first body slam. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's absolutely fine. We'll just have some more fresh water. God, we need to kill this thing. It's so freaking tense. I need another crit, man. So bad. We're running out of strength. Oh, this paralysis is ridiculous. But they're going to run out of body slam soon, surely. I mean, it's just a contest of who runs out of what first. Oh, Caesar, I really need a crit from you, buddy. Really need a crit. I know I really should cure the paralysis, but I'm not going to waste a turn on it, because while the hail is in action, we've got the ice body going on, and we're never going to end this battle if I try and cure the paralysis. Okay, so we've got the body slam, got the strength, got the bing, bada boom. Come on, Caesar. Do it for me. Come on, two more should do it. Okay, go for the body slam. Oh my god, that was a crit. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it fainted. But the hail's still there. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! No! Caesar! Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh god. Really? 
right, now you've got Rog and Roller. Really? Okay, you use Stealth Rock, that's fine. I'm planning to bulldoze you. Your speed fell, that's fine. Now I'm faster than you. Uh oh, you used Rock Slide, that's going to be pretty strong. Ah, but it's not very effective. There we go. Zelda in action, beating a Pokemon 10 levels higher than she is. Oh, bloody Caesar, really? I may have lost the prize, but I'll still make your Pokemon healthy and hearty. Thank you. Although I technically have to put Caesar at the back of the party because Caesar is out of action, okay? Caesar is no longer part of the team. I'm gonna take your item off you as well, Caesar. Oh man, what item did you have? You had the Quick Claw, right? Take. Yeah. Who should I give the Quick Claw to? Oh, this sucks. Do I think Zero could hold her own? Should I? I'll give the EXP share to somebody else. Zero item EXP share move. I'm gonna give it to Flutters. And now Zero's got the EXP share. Oh, that sucks so bad. Okay, I need to fight you. Stop running from me. I want to fight you. I love this place. The electricity charges up my inspiration. Oh, please don't kill any more of my Pokemon. Please. Rich girl, Mallory. Oh, she's got a drowsy. That's not good for... Gashgob. But I feel like maybe Zero can take it on. Okay, X special. Luckily, I don't think level 32 Drowsy has anything other than psychic type attacks. So I can go ahead and bite for a super effective hit. Okay, use Meditate. That's fine. Raising your special... Oh, your attack. What? Why did you use an X special and then raise your attack? There we go. Zero can hold his own. Sneasel is dark and ice. So I feel like... Well, it's going to be zero then, isn't it? Because he'll resist the dark type attacks. Don't know if he'll resist things like Slash, though. Okay, he went for beat up, but there's only him on the team, and it's a dark type move. Ooh, we got those leftovers, though. That's handy. Yeah. Are you going to keep going for beat up, really, with one Pokemon in your party? And it's not even a super effective move. It's a not very effective move because it's a dark type move on a dark type Pokemon. Really? This is just easy experience for Zero. I don't mind easy experience though. That's that's the best kind of experience. Zero really needs to take the lead in this now. As the alpha male of the team. Oh, so there's another way down there. Well, this is where Bianca is, so I should really go to that other place. Ooh, hello. I found a lava cookie. Yum, yum. I hate when you bump into the crystals and it just stops you for a few seconds. Hello, gem thing. I found a psychic gem. Yeah, obviously, if Bianca's there, this is the way the story wants me to go. So, there was that other direction down here. Yes, I'll use a repel. I, I need them desperately. I will try and find time to grind. It's just at the moment, I just don't have the time. That's why it's so difficult. But it increases the challenge of the rocket lock when you think about it. We just need to steal some fantastic, awesome Pokemon. Right, let's go up here. So there are more trainers. Did I just hop over something that I shouldn't have hopped over? Well, there's an exit to the cave. I'm sure I don't want to leave the cave yet. This is the entrance to the cave! Oh my god, okay. Bike time. That was stupid of me. Yes, use another repel. Oh my god. No, that's the wrong way! 
We can do this, we can do this. Okay, uh, oh, and all the bloody crystals have reset. Oh, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this like pros. Bam. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Didn't even need to hit that crystal, really. We can do this, we can do this. Oh, don't forget to answer the question of the day while I'm faffing around doing this. Which is, what is your favourite Pokemon related memory? So we've all got memories of times we've played Pokemon, or times we've talked about Pokemon, or Pokemon experiences at like conventions and stuff. So what's your favourite memory of Pokemon? My favourite memory of Pokemon is, I can still remember very vividly, looking at the box for Pokemon Blue. And being like, like not knowing what it was. Beautiful stones, wouldn't it be lovely if there's such pretty gems on the walls of my room? Yeah, okay, great, thanks. Hello. I'm a Pokemon Ranger, here to gather some electric power. Okay, yeah, my favorite memory is looking at the box of Pokemon Blue and just being like, like looking at Blastoise on the cover and thinking, this looks really cool, what is this? Because I had no idea. Ooh, that big ass Stoutland though. So I feel like, I feel like sleep powder would be handy. Okay, you're working up, that's, that's fine. You've increased your attack, I don't like that. We got the sleep, that's good. Because that gives me a free switch in to booby. I know it sounds crazy, right? But while he's fast asleep, we can go ahead and karate chop his face. Karate chop! Oh, okay. Uh oh, take down. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's that's not good. <gasps> oh, holy hell! Maybe this strategy isn't going to work. But lucky for me, Booby has lots of HP. Oh, you use crunch. I didn't like it. I didn't did not like. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything now. <laughs> I'll just send in Gashgob, and Gashgob will pick up the pieces. Oh, I didn't like that roar. <laughs> Booby straight back out. Thanks, guys. But I'm just gonna do that again. Okay, you went for takedown. How's that gonna do for Gash? Gob? Oh my god, no! For God's sake! Oh man! Are you for real? This is just. Like, these are the Pokemon that aren't even that underleveled. That are being decimated. I'm just gonna use Moo Moo Milk and hope. The, the next takedown takes him out. Like, that takes the Stoutland out with the recoil damage. Thank you. Well, that was stupid. Oh, Flutters is level 24. Yay! Thanks, Flutters. Take this. A Chesto Berry. Are you kidding me, right? Oh. We are in a dire situation in this playthrough. <laughs> oh, my favourites are all dying. Okay, we need we need to put someone at the front of the party that is high. We don't have anyone at the front of in in the party in general that is a higher level than the Pokemon in here. Oh no, we have Booby. We have Booby. Booby can go at the front. Oh, really? Okay, there's n there's nothing here, is there? Oh, there was a health wing on the floor. That's good. All right, let's go see Bianca and see what she makes of all this. If I can get down the frickin' stairs. Oh, why? After all I went through to get a victory belt. Oh my god, just... Okay, off the bike. That was a Pokemon. That was not a, a gem. Oh look, it's a little Zorua. Well, let's get some easy experience. Yeah, thanks for the taunt. That's what I'm going to use anyway. Eat that. Why can't... There we go. We go this way. 
Okay, and we will talk... Oh. We'll talk to Bianca in the next episode. So join me then. We'll see what she has to say. We'll see if we can keep chasing Team Plasma and all that and get out of this damn cave. Oh, we've got two directions we can go in, so we'll check that out tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Can't believe it's two deaths in one episode again. It's just... Oh, it's ridiculous. I might do what I usually do. Go back, get whatever remnants of Pokemon we have. I think we literally have Zorua and... Um, tsunami in the PC and then that's it so things are getting pretty dire join me in the next episode when hopefully our luck will change if you haven't already subscribed hit that button I upload these videos every single day but until next time keep on training